Ever wondered why understanding commonly measured laboratory values is important? As we navigate the world of medical science, these values serve as crucial signposts. They can indicate normal function, detect health issues, or monitor the effectiveness of a treatment. For medical students and practitioners, they are indispensable tools in diagnostics and patient care. So, are you ready to unlock the mysteries of these figures? In this video we will delve into these commonly measured laboratory values and their significance. Please, give a thumb up to encourage us to bring more interesting, challenging, and high-quality videos to everyone. First up, we have arterial blood gases. These include pH, PCO2, and PO2. The pH value gives us insight into the acidity or alkalinity of the blood. PCO2 speaks to the amount of carbon dioxide dissolved in the blood, a key player in respiratory function. Lastly, PO2 measures the pressure of oxygen in the blood, informing us of oxygenation levels. In a nutshell, arterial blood gases provide crucial information about a patient's respiratory and metabolic status. Next, we explore serum electrolytes. These are minerals found in your blood and other body fluids that carry an electric charge. This group includes bicarbonate, calcium, chloride, magnesium, phosphate, potassium, and sodium. These elements are vital for various bodily functions. Bicarbonate helps maintain the pH balance in your body, essentially keeping your blood from becoming too acidic or too alkaline. Calcium on the other hand is crucial for bone health and nerve function. Chloride aids in maintaining proper hydration, while magnesium supports muscle and nerve function, and stabilizes heart rhythm. Phosphate is integral to energy production and bone health, whereas potassium regulates heart rhythm and helps muscles contract. Lastly, sodium, which often gets a bad rap, is actually essential for maintaining fluid balance and is critical for nerve and muscle function. These values are crucial to understand a patient's hydration status, kidney function, heart function, and more. They are the unsung heroes in our quest to maintain balance or homeostasis in the body. Serum electrolytes are vital in maintaining homeostasis in the body. Now, let's move on to serum non-electrolytes and serum hormones. Diving into serum non-electrolytes first, these are substances that exist in our bloodstream, but unlike electrolytes, they don't dissociate into ions when dissolved in water. They include things like albumin, a protein that helps keep fluid from leaking out of blood vessels, and bilirubin, a waste product from the breakdown of red blood cells. Levels of these non-electrolytes give us insight into the functioning of various organs. For example, higher than normal levels of alanine aminotransferase or ALT can indicate liver disease. Similar to non-electrolytes, serum hormones provide a wealth of information about our body's state. They are chemical messengers that travel through our bloodstream regulating numerous bodily functions. For instance, cortisol, often known as the stress hormone, regulates a wide range of processes throughout the body, including metabolism and immune response. Measuring cortisol levels, especially at a specific time like 8 in the morning, can help detect conditions like Addison's disease or Cushing syndrome. Then there's thyroxine, or T4, and triiodothyronine, or T3. These thyroid hormones influence every cell in our body, helping to control the body's metabolic rate. Measuring these hormones along with thyroid-stimulating hormone, or TSH, can provide valuable information about thyroid function and overall metabolic health. These values provide a comprehensive view of the patient's overall health. Finally, we reach the hematologic values. This segment includes a range of tests that are commonly used to evaluate the blood's health. We have the erythrocyte sedimentation rate, or ESR, for both men and women. This test measures the rate at which red blood cells settle in a tube over a given period of time, providing insights into inflammation in the body. Next we have hemoglobin and hematocrit, again for both genders. Hemoglobin is the protein in red blood cells that carries oxygen, while hematocrit measures the volume percentage of red blood cells in blood. Both tests are vital in diagnosing and monitoring anemia, among other conditions. The International Normalized Ratio, or INR, and the Partial Thromboplastin Time, or PTT, are coagulation tests that assess the blood's ability to clot, crucial in managing bleeding disorders. Then we have leukocytes, MCV, platelets, and reticulocytes, each providing unique insights into the blood's health. Hematologic values are essential in understanding the blood's health and function. So, why does understanding these laboratory values matter? Well, these values are like a window into a patient's health. They help in diagnosing diseases, planning treatment strategies, and monitoring the progress of a patient's health. 
They offer critical insights from assessing kidney function to determining hormonal balance. Indeed, these laboratory values are the cornerstone of effective medical diagnosis and treatment. Understanding them leads to better patient care and outcomes. Thanks for watching, and remember to subscribe for more insightful videos.